So if you've been watching any of my videos or paying attention to the news, you've probably heard about how the inventory of homes for sale right now is pretty low. But just how low is our local inventory? How does it compare nationally? And how does that affect you as a seller? Let me show you. Now for local data, let's look at Cobb County from September 2018 to today, which comes from the FMLS. First, we'll look at new listings. In September of 2018, there were 1,324 new listings, and in 2019, 1,359, pretty close to the same. Now look at September 2023, and there are only 882 new listings. Now for actual homes for sale in the same time period, in September of 2018, there were 2,716 homes for sale, and in September of 2019, 2,761. Again, pretty close numbers. Then September 2023, this is a number that matters most in our local area. There's only 1,442, right about half of what we would normally see. Now here in this graph from Realtor.com, which shows July because it takes a little longer to gather information on a national level, indicates new listings and active listings that the rest of the country is in the same predicament as us very low inventory, which is just one reason why we're not seeing home prices come crashing down. So how is this good news for sellers and how does that affect homeowners thinking of or looking to sell? Well, you should easily catch buyers' attention because there just aren't enough homes for sale to go around. However, we're seeing your house has to be priced right. Buyers aren't willing to overpay for a home like they were during the pandemic, especially with the higher interest rates. So if you're thinking of selling, wondering what your home is worth, or just have questions, just give me a call. I'm Ken Mandich. See you next time.